welcome to another week. I'm feeling a bit fragile this morning. Last night I went out to a big charity ball that my sister-in-law had planned with friends and stuff. And um, it was really, really good. I got into bed at 1.30, the boys woke up at 6.30 and Matt went to work at like 8.30. But this morning I'm taking the boys swimming, which is exactly what I need. Are we ready to go swimming? No, I bumped your head. You bumped your head. Are you okay? Mommy Wibble Wobble! Wibble Wobble! Wibble Wobble! Back from the swimming, we had a lovely time. Um, the boys have literally just been eating since we got out of the swimming pool. What is it about swimming that makes everyone's so starving anyway yeah we're just gonna have some lunch we've got tuna paninis don't we boys just hang out and then Caleb's gonna have a sleep and i've seriously got to clean up this house look it's not good <laughs> right so Caleb is asleep now so i'm gonna attempt to clean i'm really pleased he likes all of his new birthday presents but i feel like all i do is pick up his new toy food all day long <laughs> All I can think about is coming over, coming over, coming over. Right, we're just gonna make some banana muffins because we have some yucky bananas. Caleb's helping, aren't you? Well, he's really just eating the butter. Bananas and apple bananas. We got bananas. Oh, <gasps> uh, that's gonna be yucky. No. This is always good husband training as well. Well, that's not very helpful. All I can think about is coming over, coming over. All I can think about is coming over, coming over. All I can think about is coming over, coming over, coming over. We have come ruffalo hunting because we were going a bit crazy indoors. I don't know if anyone else with toddlers or boys or girls, I don't know, find that they need to get out of the house. <laughs> need an outing or they go a bit crazy. Wubble. We found the Gruffalo's child. He, he doesn't seem wow. that very well because he's got a broken ear. Oh, is he not very well? No, I've got broken ear. You're so sweet, Fred. trip I wanted the boys to like run around and have fun and Fraser sat in the pram the whole time because he's tired because he had a late night last night and I carried Caleb the whole way around and when we got to the animals to see Caleb who never cares about mess was like it's muddy it's muddy and he wouldn't get down so I don't know if he's just like developing a fear of mess now but um oh I'm like sweating do you ever do that? Do you ever go to something and think, oh, that's a good idea, and then the kids just don't care at all. Thank God I didn't spend any money. We've come to a farm. Fraser, it's, it's Monday the 2nd of November, but Fraser has an extra day of half term off. 
so we thought we'd make the most of there being like no crowds and stuff uh, we're literally the only ones here because it's also not the nicest day out um, and I don't think I'm like a tight person but when we got here and they asked how old the boys were I was just really honest and I said four and two because Caleb's been two for like a few days and they were like that's 28 pounds please it's like what 28 pounds to see some animals the sheep they did the sheep orange for Halloween how cool is that <laughs> farm for a while and I've been trying to set up like a Christmas photo shoot um, I'm actually doing a little video on channel mum on like how to do a DIY photo shoot so we went to the park the other day this is my second option and um, so yeah we've literally just put like a white rug down fairy lights and then Kate, Fraser's been so cute hanging little decorations on and he's got so excited that we've got a few things out of the loft already for Christmas um, yeah so fingers crossed I just get a photo of them smiling all I need is one one photo of them both looking and smiling but who knows where I'm gonna get it Having 10 days today. Right, I'm just leaving work and it is so depressing that it's now dark when you leave work. Hey guys, so I've been working all day and I'm home now. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna hang out with the boys, do some homework, bath, usual stuff. Great. Thursday is my day off and we've just done the school run with Fraser. I'm going to give you an update on that actually because if you've watched my vlogs for a while you know that he really struggled to go to school at the beginning but now he's absolutely fine. He just runs in with his friends and it's so nice to see. I can sort of walk away like guilt free thinking he's going to have a nice day so that's really nice. Um, but anyway now me and Caleb have some chores to do. He's watching the phone. Um, we're going shopping at Sainsbury's and then we're going to a little gym class. Um. Right, we're back from our gym class. We had lunch and then Caleb had a little sleep. So Caleb is just up now. We're just watching some nursery rhymes on TV before we do the school run. 
And before that as well, I have someone coming over um, to help me with our front room. If you saw my house tour, um, there's this one room that I just hate and I've actually called and got an interior designer to come around and that sounds so like alien to me and like sounds really luxury but when I spoke to her I was like I've only got a small house, it's only one little room, I just need some help with ideas and stuff like I've been on Pinterest a million times but you know you just like I don't know if everything I want to do in that room is going to work um, so she's coming around soon. Yes, yeah, so she was saying if she was going to start from scratch on this room, obviously she would paint the staircase and blah blah blah, but this sofa is just massive and she was saying if it's not our main sitting room, why do we need such a massive couch? She was saying you could sell that couch and then put your desk and all like my storage like in this area, like a desk with like all like shelves and motivational quotes and all that that I could vlog in front of and use as my space and then have a sofa over it here somewhere. Um, and a way that he could play on the TV as well. So, I don't know, there's lots to think about. She's gone away, she's gonna do some measurements and stuff. Yes, hopefully we will get like a usable space that I can use for all of these things, like a hallway, a desk, and a place for Fraser to like play on the Wii or watch TV and stuff like that. We're back, we've done the school run, and now I'm just gonna make dinner and hang out with the boys, and I'm thinking about having a toy clear out because Fraser's birthday is about to come and Christmas is about to come. And look at like the Jenga we're getting involved in now. So I really need to have a clear out. Is it a lemon? Is it a Yemen? Does anybody else's child have topless dinners because they won't wear a bib? Why did I start this? I completely forgot that it was fireworks night until uh, we heard them. So we're just looking through our window and there's a display of our name. I saw one just going up in the sky. Like, Ow. Good morning. Good morning. Oh. Did you want that? He's taking it. It's basically dessert. Mama, Mama, TV. TV's coming. Mm -hmm. Right, morning. So it's Friday and I'm off to work. Uh, but at least I'm only working on Friday and then it's the weekend. Yeah, and just before I left the house, he slimed my whole shoulder with yogurt um, that he was eating. So I was actually quite pleased with my outfit for today. <laughs> but now I've got yogurt down my shoulder and I didn't have time to change the wet wipe wash with the clothes. <laughs> And uh, he wanted to blow up London Tower. He wanted to blow up King James. And King James? Yeah, but King James stopped him because he called the cops. He called the cops? Yeah. Wow, I don't even know about Guy Fawkes. <laughs> he, he's the one who blew up London, but he, not only him, his friends tried to as well. They tried to blow up London? Yeah. Wow. Only London. King's friends um, done it as well, but they didn't get to because King Dave just stopped him because he called the police. Oh. Whoa, that's a massive one! Wow. They've got more fireworks than normal. Fraser's asleep in bed, Caleb is in bed, but the silly fireworks just keep going off and keeping them awake. Um, oh, I know it'll be nice in the future that we can go to fireworks displays and stuff, but when you've got like a toddler, you're like, please just stop 
having all these fireworks, please. Um, anyway, I've had a really nice surprise today. Obviously, it's Friday, and I've had like a day at work, and blah, blah, blah. I've come home, and Matt said, oh, I've got a surprise for you, and he's got me the most amazing present ever. It's a Jo Malone advent calendar. I decided to open this. I've always wanted one of these, but obviously, they're ridiculously expensive, so I've just never bought one for myself or had one and I just can't believe that he has and it's just totally out of the blue so I'm just so excited because I love German Iron Can. Oh my gosh. Single day of December you get a product so let's just cheat a little bit here so I can see. So this is day one. Day one I've got a little mini wood sage and sea salt cologne and I actually love this cologne. I have the full size one so that is amazing. I put that in my handbag. Um, but yeah, I think there's candles and perfumes and everything in it. So I'm going to end the vlog here. Um, thank you so much for watching again. I love reading all the comments and replying and like getting likes and stuff like that. I just really appreciate it. I can't believe I've nearly got 3,000 subscribers. Um, so thank you all and yes, I'll see you all soon. Bye. But I've just had my spray tan and now I've got to go out into the real world looking like this. <laughs>